C.D. Cortland, this damn well better be you. <laughs> Why, hello, Opal. Looking lovely as always. I heard they sprung you from the pokey, but I never imagined you'd be darkening my door. Actually, I'm looking for Petey. I don't care if you're looking for the Pope. You are not welcome. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. You can relax, okay? Your son and I, we have very important business to discuss. You in business with my son? Over my dead body, mister. Now you take your criminal mind off of my property or I will call Pine Valley's finest and have me send you back to the pokey. Pronto. Is that your mom again? Uh, I wish. Is everything okay? It's all good for now. Do you need to go back? No, I don't need to go back. Besides, it's our last night. <laughs> I figured we'd do something else that you haven't done before. Like? Like a concert at the Bowery Ballroom? Uh, can I ask you a question? Shoot. Sure. If you were here with any other girl, what would you really want to be doing instead? Hey. Fred said you were resting. Oh, I tried. <laughs> Didn't work. Well, before you try to talk me into another workout, I just came back to grab my phone. Are you okay? Uh, truth, no. Did something happen? Yeah, I woke up. You know, I'm starting to think everybody would have been better off if I stayed in that coma. Six times on the Snake and Shake coaster, and you know, I don't even care if my dad thinks I'm an addict Ugh. like him. Well, I'm glad it made you feel better. Me, not so much. Ugh, I swear I could have hurled on that last turn. Everything's still spinning. Well, you need some coffee to level you out. Ready? Hey, grab a table. I'll get you a latte. Hey guys. Miranda, hey. Scoot over? We were just leaving, actually. Looks like you just got here. Something up? Just in the middle of something. Looks like you had a rough day. Oh, <laughs> wait till you hear what AJ and I just. Are you sure there's not something going on that in I In the middle know about? of something. Right. Sorry, Ed. Hey, Miranda, Sorry. over here. <clears throat> uh, I was gonna say hi to her anyway. <laughs> Just a sec. Later. Double espresso, right? You know me. It's a lot of octane for this time of night. I have a business meeting and you stay on my toes. Oh, feet, right? <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> you think you're the only one who enjoys some jolt and Joe in the evening? May I have a word with you? I'm kind of in a hurry. This won't take long. So you tell me where you've been keeping yourself, Smitty. I don't know what you're talking about. Blasphemer! You used to be my best customer, and now all of a sudden you're AWOL! You're MIA! Where you been keeping yourself? Did you keep your voice down? All right. How's this? You tell me where well, you've been doing your business or I'm going to send all my loving, cherished photographs of you to your darling, loving wife. No, you got to get closer. The, the resolution's no good. You the more I zoom in, the blurrier the words get on the menu. What is that, an A? That, no, that's an H. I can't believe oh, that. So this is, what, this is all we have. This is the best lead we have, and we can't read it. I know you want to protect your friend. But as the lead officer in this case, I don't think we should keep this from him. Especially since he can identify the menu from no. patrolling the area. No, we kill him. Jesse can't know about this. Why not?
she thought. Don't ever make a mistake like that again, mother. I told you! I saw her French pot when Shut I... Shut up! Jesse, I was just about to call you. Well, it sounds to me like you were trying not to call me. Let's go get a cup of coffee. I'll fill you in on what we found. Why not fill me in here? Because Leah is busy. We're working on the same case. Obviously, she knows something about the lead, don't you? I do. Well, then somebody fill me in, please. I'm waiting. So you tell me where you've been taking your business, or I'll make mincemeat of your marriage. Nowhere, okay, except home. It's my wife. We're, we're trying to work things out. <laughs> God! <laughs> now don't bring the big guy into this. I'm the only one here who can grant you redemption. Huh? Now, now, let's, 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 let's have the skinny. Come on, let's have the skinny. Bleed it off. Dude. I needed something kinkier than your girls were giving me, all right? Since I'm a man of God, I may no longer relish his salacial details, but you better tell me who's running this den of non-equity. I can't. Well, sure hope the missus enjoys her early anniversary present. Here. Let's go to the website, click on the girl in red. It's a portal for hookups. This better be legitimate. It is. The password's on the back. Uh -huh. May fire and brimstone rain down upon the sodomites. We've been examining every link on the Your Every Fantasy website, and we came across this video. But the video is not what's important. In the background there, it looks like a takeout menu or something. It's probably from a restaurant in the area. But the video's blurry, so Leah's gonna send it out to get blown up. Wait a minute, I know some of the restaurants on the outskirts of Santa City. Maybe I can make it out. Maybe the tech guy should fiddle with it. It couldn't hurt him, I took a look. Right? I... Show me. See, it's not very clear. <sighs> what is that? In the corner, is that a leg? Is that some... This is a porn video. The video's not what's important, Jesse. Wait a minute, is that why you didn't want me to see it? You pull this out of close-up. Don't do it, Jesse. Please! Oh, Jesse. Say it, bitch. Oh, I'm a dirty girl. It's Cassandra. You know what happens to dirty girls, don't you? Oh, my God. Turn it off. What? I know it's hard, but try to ignore them. Listen, thanks for calling me over, but... Do I know you? No. But I know you. I'm Heather. I heard about what happened with that jerk hunter. Twitter. Gotta love it. Great. Now the whole town knows about it. Oh, in a week, everyone will forget it ever happened. I always thought Bramwell sucked, because an all-girls school can get really bitchy, but after seeing that tweet, how do you deal with assholes like him every day? He's not the only one. Here you go. Thanks. Hey, whoa, dude, watch it. How'd it go with the stuff? Uh, I didn't do it. My dad kind of found it before I did. Shh. You didn't rat me out, did you? No way. Because if your old man tells my old man, trust then... me, my dad's not going to do shit. My dad would have beat the crap out of me. Lucky, man. Yeah, real lucky. AJ wants absolutely nothing to do with me. You've been out of his life for five years. Then you can't expect things to just automatically fall into some happy family place. And he's a teenager. And from what I hear, they're hardwired to hate their parents. Well, I just hope just because I turned out like my father, AJ doesn't turn out like me. The last thing I ever wanted from my son uh, my weather app's saying thunderstorms, so I'm going to match it up with the local news channel, see if we need to order a car for tonight. Trying to get a cab when it's raining in the city is next to impossible. You're dodging my question. Celia, I'm not dodging. Dude, come on. I know the kind of girls you're used to dating. They're hardly shy. And something tells me that if you were here in this hotel room with any of those girls, you wouldn't be talking about going to dinner and a show. 
you'd... you'd be in bed. Wouldn't you? You're right. I would. <gasps> what are you doing? How did you get into here? <laughs> you left the door unlocked after you slammed it in my face. You really should be more careful, Opal. All right, that does it. I'm calling the cops. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All I want to do is talk to Petey. I told you, Petey isn't here. Okay, well, I figured I would just wait until he got back from wherever it is that he went. Unless, of course, you know where that is. No, I don't. And even if I did, I wouldn't tell you. What if I told you that the future of Cortland Electronics depends on it? I would tell you that Palmer would be spinning in his grave to hear that you had anything to do with that. What is wrong with you people? Don't I ever get any points for all the good things that I've done in this town? <laughs> Not only was I the best heart surgeon this town has ever known, but I also single-handedly cured Angie Hubbard's blindness. Every life that you touch ends up in tragedy, and I will not have you slithering into my PD's world and destroy that, too. No. Now, are you going to get your sorry butt out of here, or am I going to have to call the Okay, cops? okay, fine. I'll leave. But if you really give a damn about your son, you'll tell him to call me. Or else you can kiss Daddy's dynasty goodbye. You know, I can actually, I can hold this bottle and have absolutely no desire to take a sip. That is how much I've changed. But you know what? They're just going to accuse me of being in denial. Or worse, lying. JR. Here we go. I wasn't going to take a sip. I'm just making a point. I can attest to that. I'd like to believe you. But of course, in this house, you are guilty until proven innocent, right? Oh my God. Hey, Jay. I thought you left. Yeah, I was uh, about to, until Heather saved me from looking like a total loser. Oh, I'm sorry, Heather, this is AJ. AJ, Heather. Nice to meet you. You too. Wait, so what happened? Um, oh, those girls over there didn't want Miranda to sit with them. I think it was because that asshole Hunter was watching. Who? Kirsten? I know, right? It was so shitty. Nobody would have had the guts to stand up to Hunter the way you did. Uh, Heather goes to Bramwell, but she knows all about what happened with Hunter. Thank you to social media. You're a hero for having Miranda's back like you did. Uh, I don't know. I figured you two would be friends. Hey, you know what they say about Bramwell girls. They like to get off on a V. <laughs> I bet you like that. Huh? Piece of shit. Hey, stop. Remember what Coach Lane said. I don't give a shit what he said. Someone needs to bring that asshole down. Someone, <laughs> not you. Not for me again. Come on. Later. Thank you. So you asked me a question and I answered it. I don't even know why you brought me here. I mean, you had to know that what you do with other girls wasn't going to happen with me. That's exactly why I brought you here. Because, Celia, you're not like other girls. Okay, because when I'm with you, I'm not just thinking about how great it would be to sleep with you. I, not that I wouldn't want to. I, I would. <laughs> I do. It's just that when I'm with you, I'm happy. No matter what we do. And for the record, I like the kind of girl that waits until she's in love. I... I think I might be... What? Falling in love with you. <sighs> oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm glad you did. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure I'm falling in love with you, too. Fellas, what's all this about? It's a press conference. I wasn't informed. Well, then consider yourself informed. You're the doctor. He's not the doctor anyone, the one, the one that shot him. Oh, yeah, yeah. Old news. What I'm about to drop here is a game changer, and you can tell everyone that you heard it first. You really should have checked ahead of time. Not all my patrons want their faces plastered on TV. 
I'm not right. so thrilled about it. You can relax, sweetheart, because the only mug the camera's going to be facing right now is this one. Keep it that way. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Um, before you go, why don't you get some coffee in Danish for the crew? Are you running a tab? Give them whatever they want. Uh, Dr. Hayward, is this announcement connected to your attempted murder conviction? No, no, that's all in the past. What I'm about to talk about right here today is the future and how I'm going to change it. What's this for? Put it on. Our location is top secret. How will I know when I want to come back? I'll take you. If there is a next time. Oh, the things I do for the name of the Lord. I get my hands on those bastards. I will, and I will help you. Hey guys, the first letter on this menu is an A. Oh, see, that's better. That's a D. Mm -hmm. And then an R. Adriano's. I know exactly where that is. These are the delivery records for the last month. The owner of Adriano's just sent it over. Look for cash customers. Credit cards are too easy to trace. Cash customers who only give cell phone numbers are harder to trace. Well, here's a customer at 136 Bleecker. He orders all the time, never gives a number. He's feeding an army. Look at that. Yeah, I need you to check out 136 Bleecker. It's got to be right across the street from Adriano's. And it's right by the railroad tracks. Amy could have heard the whistle. Manny, you there? Yeah, 136, yeah. What's it look like? No, 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 no. Don't move in yet. Wait for backup. It's an abandoned building. Doors boarded up, windows blacked out, just like Amy said. Let's go. These should have been put away before JR came home. I don't think you're jumping to conclusions. He's an alcoholic who is holding a bottle of scotch. <laughs> you know what? I am starting to think he's right. You are all expecting him to fail. Is that what he told you? It makes him feel like there's no point in him even trying to make up for his past mistakes. Well, it didn't take him very long to get you start feeling sorry for him, did it? Excuse me? We've all been witness, and some even victims, of JR's manipulations. And I appreciate you wanting to believe the best of JR, but I should caution you. I would hate to see your faith in him turn around and bite you. AJ, I shouldn't have accused you of taking those drugs. You acted like it was heroin. They're, they're steroids. But they're still drugs. Okay, when I saw you with them, I just... What? What? You, you thought I was going to have a like father, like son moment, Dad? Well, you know what? You thought wrong. I don't do drugs. I know. And I'm sorry. Okay, it didn't hit me until the same thing happened with Brooke. Right, I was holding a bottle of scotch and I'm trying to... No, I wasn't. I was not taking a drink. I wasn't. I was making a point with Kara. And you don't believe me either. Whatever, Dad. You still don't trust me. Nobody does. You know, but I... Look, I deserve that, AJ. All right, but you don't. I mean, you've never given me a reason not to trust you. I'm sorry for accusing you. Tell me what's going on. I don't know. You know, if I did something, any... What the f... Ex-con and former Pennsylvania doctor David Hayward 
released from jail, talks new medical breakthrough and mega merger with Cortland Electronics, you son of a bitch! David Hayward, the physician recently released from a Pennsylvania state prison after serving a five-year sentence for attempted murder, has announced that he has big plans for the town of Pine Valley. Let's tune in. Oh, hey. Hey. Didn't expect to see you still here. Yeah, well, did you uh, talk to your son? I tried. Okay, you keep trying, all right? Sooner or later, he's going to see that you've changed. Everyone will. I'm glad you think so. Bye. Wow, look at this. No. Ready? But before I get started, I would like to quickly address the subject of my unfortunate incarceration for the accidental shooting of J.R. Chandler. What the hell is he doing? Now, that being said, I'm hoping that you will all give me the benefit of the doubt and allow me to return to Pine Valley, a place that I still consider home, so that I may start my venture here, to the benefit of us all. This guy is batshit crazy! I have spent the past five years developing and refining a miraculous new device that will revolutionize modern medicine. And I'm hoping to produce that device right here in Pine Valley, a move that will bring new jobs to the region, revitalizing not only the downtown area, but the outer neighborhoods as well. Now I'm hoping to do this by forging a partnership with Cortland Electronics. Cortland Electronics. Like hell you will! We didn't agree on anything! Manipulative piece of shit! You wanna walk around like a white knight? Act like you're gonna save the world? Like you're gonna think I'm gonna just take a partnership with you? <laughs> Got another thing coming, buddy. Wrong guy. Hey, Amber. It's Pete. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry it's late. Listen, you need to get legal on the phone and make sure that they file an injunction on David Hayward. You shut him down. What the hell are you doing here? I told you, I had a bone to pick with these other traitors of evil. I met that guy. Get out of here. 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 Next, all my children. Well, if it isn't Jason Bourne, Pine Valley's own. So how's that memory going there, Junior? Huh? You still playing the cobwebs in the attic routine? You know, maybe I was wrong about you not being connected to the Cosmog. Maybe you tipped them off so they could run with my daughter when they found out I was headed here. Anything that happened, sir, it's on your head, not mine. <laughs> well, Princess, time has come for you to... <laughs> Really are uh, your keep. <laughs>